Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. It's time for another voiceover. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know because I just posted on Instagram in case you missed it and you're not following me. Lovely TTV is now on Roku. So if you have a Roku stick, you can now stream my YouTube channel via Roku. So we've been busy over here grinding, staying positive and staying busy. Thank you guys so much Tea Sippers for the support. We're steadily growing and doing our thing over here. Positive vibes only. So with that being said, don't forget to copy some tea from lovelytea.com net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs once again thank you guys so much for the support now let's go ahead and get started with this video all right you guys so i'm here to talk about all this damn white on white crime okay so if you guys do not know white folks is out here showing out at damn parties okay so what's going down is this. Yesterday, Cardi B threw a huge party for her Fashion Nova clothing line. She collaborated with Fashion Nova, and so she threw a huge party yesterday in Hollywood. There was a lot of people there. Her uh, clothes ended up selling out in less than 48 minutes. Cardi did the damn thing. But of course, today, all people can talk about is what went down between Iggy Azalea and Bad Baby, a.k.a. the Cash Me Outside girl. Now, both of these ladies were trending on social media, and the reason why they're trending is due to this this damn white on white crime. White folks going to parties and not knowing how to damn act. So the Cash Me Outside girl, AKA Bad Baby, she's 15 and she just swears up and down she's about that damn life. She can talk to folks any type of way. She can step to adults. She picked a good one when she messed with Iggy Azalea because she knows Iggy's a sweet woman and she's not gonna do anything. So anyways, let me go ahead and break this down to y'all because I know a lot of y'all probably wondering why did they, why are they beefing, what happened? So this is the backstory. So the other day on Instagram, if y'all remember, I had posted that Bad Baby was, you know, basically coming for Iggy Azalea. I had posted it under I don't give a shit news because to me I just can't stand this little girl everybody knows that it's no secret her fans come for me all the time on Instagram I don't give a damn okay I said what the hell I damn said I'm not a fan of her so anyhow this guy named Anthony uh, Marante he was basically saying who's gonna go see at Bad Barbie on tour so Iggy Azalea whose name on Instagram is new classic she came on there and she said are you that's all she said she's just basically asking them a question and then here comes this biscuit head trick okay um she comes on there and she basically replies to Iggy and she's like, you should come, would be a good memory for you of what sold out shows look like. So when she wrote that, of course that went viral and people were like, oh my gosh, she's coming for Iggy, this little girl just dissed Iggy, ooh, you know all that dumb shit that kids do. And of course Iggy Azalea just basically ignored her, um, it was kind of like a back and forth, but that's basically how it started. So she claims that Iggy was talking all this shit to her, even though I just showed y'all receipts that she's the one who started it, Iggy did not diss her first. So she called herself wanting to trend, looking for attention because this is what attention whores do. So anyhow, they're at Cardi's party, Iggy Azalea is talking to some reporters all of a sudden bad baby's biscuit head ass she goes and grabs some water and she throws it on iggy azalea i want y'all to go ahead and watch this snippet check this out is this a picture of you in the video All right, you guys, so you guys just saw that snippet. You guys just saw her pour water on her and then try to act tough while security pulled her back, okay? that that That's the game that she plays. She walks around with security guards, you know, mainly big, burly black men, and they protect her from all her fuck shit. So anyhow, after that, of course, Iggy's like, you know, what the hell did I do to this girl? I'm a grown woman. I'm 26 years old. I'm not about to sit here and fight a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. I didn't hide behind no fucking security. Brittany grabbed me. I was trying to fucking get her off of me. And then my security grabbed me. So please, y'all are so fucking dumb. Y'all will say anything to make me the overall bad person all the time. 
Am I just gonna have a half and half wig for the rest of the day? <laughs> Jerry Springer, what kind of, whose baby is this, Dr. Phil, oh shit, oh my god, I am a grown up, I cannot. I get that this little girl has made a name for herself acting a damn fool on television and online, but I'm a grown up. I'm not about to waste my energy on that shit or be fighting a kid in a club. Come on. I'm here to get a bag. I came to get a check. I left with a check. You left with your bag stuffed over there. And you look silly. I'm not going to be scrambling around on the floor for a 15-year-old girl on the internet. I have to laugh. I don't know. I just think people want clout really bad. Mama, good luck with your career. You're young. You're going to look back on this and you're going to really feel dumb. I don't know. I just think that shit's lame as hell. But maybe it's because I'm a grown-up. I don't know. Anyway, good night, y'all. I'm, I'm going home. I'm tired. Why are you so obsessed with me? Girl, I want to know. Nobody's obsessed with you. You are just a hoe. <laughs> what well, you gotta tell bitch the story? Is I'm not the one. Bitch is not gonna play with me. That's okay, but I did uh? Even that. No, bitch what, is like what drink did you throw at her? It was what, just water. It was just water. Yes, it, it was just water. And what happened? Like, did she stop up to you? What did Iggy do? She was talking shit on Instagram. So, bitch, you finna say something? Bitch, that's finna happen to you. Oh, and man. I can't, I can't get to her because I'm scared. That's so not it was, let a, me. it was one of those. So, bitch, I do what I can. So now, of course, after the story went viral, everybody's favorite rapper, honey, Azealia Banks, of course, she had to insert herself into this. So she definitely had something to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Wait, did I just see that bad baby tried to fight <laughs> at a fashion Nova party? Ooh. That baby reminds me so much of Angelica Pickles. It's like crazy. Iggy big old fucking kangaroo Jane ass with a kick that big old kangaroo muscle leg out and really would have hurt bad baby so yeah it could have went both ways but yes fuck iggy punk that bitch <laughs> punk that bitch and to be honest i don't really have anything against iggy it's just funny to watch her like get punked within this like hip-hop arena but she really thought she was that girl <laughs> Oh, you thought you was that girl, huh? You thought you was really that girl. All right, so y'all just saw what Azealia Banks had to say. Surprise, surprise to nobody. But what I really find funny is this. Like I said, Iggy's a good one. See me, I'm a parent. And I'm a parent to teenagers. You're not going to disrespect me. I will beat you like you're my child, okay? So, <laughs> I would have snatched her by her fucking ponytail. I don't play that shit. Your mama may not whip your ass, but step to the right black woman, okay? We will put you in your place, bad baby, okay? Now, it's funny. She has all this mouth for Iggy Azalea. But shout out to one of my followers, Ultra Sheena, for letting me know that Suki drug her ass literally last week and when suki came for bad baby you know what i'm saying she didn't have that same energy so i want to see if bad baby is really about that life to fight suki and come at suki how she came at iggy azalea bitch i ain't scared of no fucking rednecks bitch i'm a crip walk on your pussy fuck wrong with y'all y'all better tell that bitch keep my motherfucking name on her mouth bitch i'm a real hood rat bitch motherfucking catch me outside bitch shut the fuck up all that catch me outside bitch i'm gonna catch you outside i'm gonna bust that ass Talking all that shit to your mom. Bitch, you a disgrace. I don't even like bitches that disrespect their mom like that, you pussy ass hell. Bitch, cause she said, she's gonna say, tell Suki, do something. Bitch, do you know who I am? You got the wrong one, bitch. I ain't no internet clout chasing ass. I'm a bitch your ass now. Fucking real. These bitches don't got nothing better to do with their fucking lives. And sit around the day and figure out, how can I be like Danielle? And better yet, how can I piss her off? Be her motherfucking ass when I see her. I'm going to drag that bitch. I'm going to... Bad baby. Bad baby, bitch. If you do not apologize, this going to be the this gonna be the worst ass whooping that you ever get, bitch. You ain't never fight no black bitch like me. You better watch your motherfucking mouth, bitch. Because I don't give a fuck how old you is, bitch. I'm coming to California, and I'm going to beat the dog shit out your pussy ass. You whack ass hoe. For real, because that's so crazy, bitch. How you going to tell me who I'm going to talk to or talk about? Do something, bitch. Do something. Please do something. Do real. I want to see you do something. 
See, I, I hate getting into these over the phone altercations or these Instagram altercations. Cause these bitches don't say shit in real life. Like this little silky bitch, bitch, don't tell me who I can and cannot talk about. The fuck? She said you was finna do? I'll just roly poly her ass down the hill. Right, tell me what you gonna do to that girl. Humpty huh? <laughs> Dumpty had a great fall head ass bitch. Ah! When I tell you Suki drug her ass up and down Instagram live by that damn burgundy ass ponytail of hers, she was not here for the fuck shit. So Daniel Bagoli definitely knows who to step to, like the woe Vickies and the little Tays and the Iggy Azaleas, but she's not gonna bring that shit to no real hood person. You know it's cute to be hood and you know it's cute for her to act ratchet because she's a little white girl, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if a little black girl was running around doing the same thing, nobody would see that as cute, that she would not be able to monetize that. So while she's trying to perpetuate this fake-ass lifestyle, she needs to realize it can come with real consequences and people will step to her because she doesn't know how to turn that shit off. Just because you're 15 don't mean that somebody out there won't whoop your ass for all the fuck shit that you out here doing, little girl. She's not going to go to Suki's hood and try and start nothing with her or try and fight her. All she's going to do is do stuff in a controlled environment while she's walking around with security guards and people to protect her little ass. So yes, I do blame Daniel Bagoli, you know, for her actions and the way she acts and treats people, but I also have to blame, you know what I'm saying, the fans as well, the people who basically promoted her and helped her to go viral and helped her to not have a legitimate career. You know, like it or not, she is the face of hip hop. Like it or not, Gucci Flip Flops is actually on the billboard. People actually want to buy it. People bang it. I hear people, you know, playing it when I'm out and about. So she is the new face of hip hop. Give it to they pussies. Turn this shit up a notch. Gucci flip flops. Bussy. Make it kick rock. You know, and this is just really unfortunate that somebody who was on Dr. Phil for beating up their mother is being rewarded for her bad behavior. And now it's gone to her head where she thinks she can step to an adult. At the end of the day, Iggy Azalea is an adult. And when you're a child, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to respect your elders. And the fact that she doesn't have any respect for not only her mother, who's her elder, but for other people that she does not personally know. And she thinks this behavior is acceptable. I'm not feeling that. So I will never be a fan of this brat. I will never be a fan of this little girl. She needs to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up okay she needs to drink some of that damn water that she was spilling on iggy and go have several damn seats okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation honey once again concerning all this damn white on white crime bad baby and iggy azalea getting into it really was just a one-sided beef i think iggy definitely handled herself well by just walking away and just you know laughing at this little broad so anyways y'all go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.